So let me let me start by defining. Um, actually, we have a whole uh, Substack blog post on defining platforms because although it's you know I'm going to make it very simple, there's actually some intricacies and nuances that are interesting to get into, but we don't have time here. Uh, but at a very simple level, platform business is just one that's enabling interactions between customers. Okay, so if you think about eBay. The customers are the buyers and the sellers that join eBay. The enabling interactions is, you know, enabling discoverability of the from the buyer side of the sellers and enabling the transactions. And of course, some platforms just enable transactions, like the Visa and Mastercard I was talking about. They don't actually help with discoverability. And other platforms are just mainly helping you discover matches, like a dating platform. Right? They're not enabling any transaction. Um, and then there's, you know, all the all the others that do both. And of course, these work whether the customers are consumers, uh, you know, like regular individuals like Facebook, which they're enabling interactions between, or businesses like business to business platforms. So it covers that whole range. Um, one other thing I'd note about the definition of platforms is if you think about it as a business model, it's really often a choice that the firms have. So it's not the case when you think about this definition, it's not the case that all firms are sort of born platforms or not platforms. They can actually transform themselves. So if you think about Amazon, Amazon wasn't actually born a platform, right? It was a book reseller, buys books and resells them, and then it decides to open itself up to these third parties and enable interactions between these third party sellers and its customers, and thereby became a platform. Sure, and what I can add is, you know, the so the the million or the billion dollar question that we always ask our students, or I guess everyone's interested in, is like, why are platforms special? And you know, the answer is so why is, why are they special? Why are they powerful? And there's two parts to the answer. The first one, I think, most important is that they have network effects. So the idea is, um, if it's a platform, say like a marketplace like eBay, more buyers is more valuable to sellers, and more sellers is more valuable to buyers. So you know, the value of the platform increases to buyers as more sellers join and vice versa. Or if it's a, I don't know, a communication platform like WhatsApp or Discord, same thing. The more people get, the higher the, the value, the willingness to pay for an individual user. And I mean, it's very easy to see why, you know, platforms tend to, once they work, they tend to get exponentially bigger as they draw more users or more customers on, on, either, on either side. And so the second, so that's the that's the first piece, and I think it's probably the most important. The second piece, uh, also important, is follows straight from the definition that Julian uh, Julian gave, which is because platforms enable transactions or interactions, they don't really control or own assets typically, right? So their cost structure tends to be very low. Uh, so think of something like Airbnb. They're basically connecting people that have apartments or houses to rent with travelers. Compare that with a, with a hotel chain, like Airbnb does not own any inventory, does not have to like manage the, the properties. They're just, they're just sitting in the middle. So obviously the cost structure is much lower. So if you think about the combination between very low cost structures and network effects, I think it's pretty easy to see why they're extremely scalable. So you know, I always like to say platform businesses are probably the most, arguably the most powerful business models ever invented, which is why of course uh, we like to invest in them. And let me introduce you one concept that is the ecosystems, which is the difference between platforms and ecosystems? Uh, sure. So I, I think they're related and the following, I think what most when people use the word ecosystem, I think what they refer to is the, is the combination of a platform and the surrounding participants. So let's say, I think a lot of this is like in B2B context. So maybe it's a, I don't know, um, something like, let's say Salesforce. They have a platform of third-party apps or third, yeah, third-party software around sell, like their, around their CRM product, and I think when we say ecosystem, we typically refer to I guess Salesforce and the third-party apps or uh, yeah other other products that are offered around it. Mm 